Okay, before we get into downloading and installing all the tools that we're going to need, I want to spend just a couple of minutes talking about sort of broad overviews of what databases are. So I find that a lot of people have a hard time understanding or even sort of visualizing what a database is. So, you know, there are these weird things. They exist usually up in the cloud. You put data in, you take data out. But what do they look like? How do they actually work? So if you're a little bit confused, if you just don't know, think of a database as a spreadsheet. And I've got Excel, you know, the famous Microsoft spreadsheet software up right now. And databases are basically just big fancy spreadsheets. Uh, they have columns, these things that go up and down. They have rows, things that go across. You can put, you know, things in and take things out. Uh, you can put all kinds of different things in, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But that's really pretty much all there is to it, you know. Uh, all databases pretty much work the same way. They, and they sort of all act like this. So um, here, let's talk about this a little bit. You have going across, these are called rows in sort of spreadsheet terms. In database terms, they're called records. Same thing, record, row. Uh, everything in a row, in a record, goes together. So, you know, you see here we have John Elder, me at me.com, my phone number, uh, 10 West Elm, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89111, I don't know, <laughs> 40. So this is a row, right? All of this stuff goes with me, right? If we then have another entry, we might have Mary Smith. Oops, let's do it. Mary Smith. Weird formatting here. Let me change that real quick. There you go. Uh, let's go Mary at Mary.com. Her phone number is 222-333-4444. She lives at 11 Maple Street. I don't know. Chicago. Illinois, 60610, she is 23, right? Let me clean this up a bit. Okay, so, you know, we have another record in another row, and everything in this row goes with Mary. So everything in a row goes together, sort of keep that in mind. Uh, on the other hand, columns, they don't go together, but they're all of the same type, the same type of data, or the same data type, right? We'll talk about data types in a little bit. But, like, for instance here, age. Everything in this column is going to be an age. You wouldn't put, you know, blue. That doesn't make any sense. Blue is not an age. Blue is not a number, right? Everything else in this column is a number. In this column, everything is a number, zip codes. In this column, everything is a state, right? So everything in a column has to be of the same data type. They're not necessarily, they don't belong to the same person. Like, you know, this age goes with this record. This age goes with this record. They don't go, they don't both go to John, but they're of the same type. So uh, that's about it, really. So when you think of databases, think of a big spreadsheet. In this case, Excel itself is the database. And you notice we're not really doing anything with the database. It's the, the table, which is this whole thing. The table is what we're doing stuff with. We add information, we add data into the table, we can update information in the table, data in the table, we can remove data from the table, we can retrieve data from the table. It's the table inside of the database that we're really sort of going to be interacting with. And you can see down here at the bottom, we have sheet one, sheet two, it's empty, sheet three, it's empty. These are additional tables. So a database can have lots of tables, you know, you can have a table for uh, your customers. You can have a table for your email list subscribers. You can have a table for um, old customers that haven't bought anything in over five years. You know, whatever you want, you can have as many tables as you want, and you can pull stuff from each table um, at will. So that's pretty cool. But the database itself, you're not really doing anything with. It's all the table. It's all the records and the rows within the tables. So. That's really sort of all I wanted to talk about. I uh, will talk about data types a little bit later. Um, there are certain types of data that you can use in databases, and you sort of need to know what those are. Every database has different data types. Um, they're all pretty much the same, but they're all called slightly different things. So we'll learn about what micro or MySQL's data types are a little bit later. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Just think of databases as big spreadsheets and you won't go wrong. So in the next video, we're going to start to download and install the tools that we're going to need. And that'll be coming up in the next video.